Hey guys, welcome back to the Pokemon Master Slayer YouTube channel. And today I have a deck profile for y'all. It is going to be over Turtonator Volcanion GX deck. So let's get straight into it. Alright. First of all, I run two copies of Turtonator GX. It's a 190 HP basic and three retreat costs for two DCE. Shell Trap does 20 damage, but during your opponent's turn, if they attack you and attack you, they'll take 80 damage. And technically, Shell Trap is doing 100 damage. And if your opponent is very greedy, this is a very good thing for you because this will buy time and get you easy prizes if your opponent forgets that you use Shell Trap. And bam, they're just going to don't know what to just hit them. And for two fire and... One colorless, Bright Flame, does 160, oh gosh, it's out of focus, does 160 damage, discard two fire energies from this Pokemon, and this is basically the one-shotter of the deck, because if you have Volcanion, you basically just boost everything, and then Nitro Tank GX, your only GX attacker in this deck. Attach five of any fire energies from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon in any way you like, so basically you power up everything in one turn so you just want to discard as much as you possibly can on every single one of your turns and get Turnator out as fast as possible and we run two copies so set that off to the side now we got one copy of baby Volcanion because you know what you just gotta have that fallback plan and it's for one fire energy power heater does 20 damage to two of your bench Pokemon attach fire energies to them this is good for just Late game or just begin if you start out with it. It's just a good way to set up. And then the main event. We're on three copies of Volcanian EX. And its ability steam up. You discard a car fire energy from your hand. And you do 30 damage more. Your fire Pokemon do 30 damage more. So this is how you power up the Turtonator. So if you literally have all three of these in play. And you got Turtonator in the active. And you steam up, steam up, steam up. That means you're going to be doing 190, 220, 250 damage. That is knockout on everything in this game. Unless a Whale Lord has a Fighting Fury Belt that's 290. But that knocks out basically everything in this game. You won't need to deal with problems or nothing. But yeah. And then Volcanion's attack for two fire and a colorless Volcanic Heat does 130 damage. And this Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. Even if you retreat it and send it back out into the active, it still won't be able to attack unless you have a Pokemon Ranger. And yeah, that's Volcanion. And then we run a 2-1 two, two line of Octillery Sushi Master, a.k.a. Dark Integral. And for Abyssal Hand, you want to constantly be drawing into your deck. Because if you slow down, you're basically screwed over. Because as fast as these decks are these days, you don't want to be slow. And drawing cards every single turn just helps. Alright. And then we run a one line, one one line of evolution of Star Me with the space beacon ability. Oh my gosh, I'm stuttering so much. You discard a card from your hand and you put two energies basic energies not special man if this was special everyone would be using this thing and this is what helps with those constant steam ups and discarding from turtonator and we run the one copy from breakpoint because you want that free retreat yeah free retreat but yeah discard one card from your hand draw two energies and the final event bam flareon ex this thing is so broken with nitro tank gx because if most of the time you'd want to nitro tank like for most of those energies onto this thing because you basically attach three energies that's a that's like blaze ball man this blaze ball 50 plus more for every single fire energy you attach you attach to it so it does 20 more damage for every single fire energy and you need three fire three basically the only energies we have in this deck is fire so that means you're automatically doing 110 damage but with the excessive amount of energies and on top of steam ups that's knockout man who doesn't want an overpowered card in their deck and has two retreat cost.
with the flash fire ability, you may move a fire energy from one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon. So if you have that baby Volcanion with the one energy attached to it, you might as well move it to this card. So yeah, this is a late game attacker or beginning starting of the game, but most of the time you want to mid range it. But yeah, now on to supporters. It's very simple. Four copies of N. Three copies of Professor Sycamore. Two copies of Pokemon Fan Club. The reason why I don't play Bridget is because I want to be able to get my Volcanians out as well. Because Bridget only allows you to get three of any basic Pokemon and one EX. And honestly, Pokemon Fan Club is, in my honest opinion, more overpowered if you have an EX deck. If you have a GX deck, then might as well just use Bridget. But yeah, that's the only reason why I use Pokemon Fan Club. And then I run two copies of Guzma. Please, I know they're Lysanders. Don't give me hate. I'm trying to get my hands on Guzmas, but uh, it's just difficult times. But yeah, you basically Guzma out a Pokemon with, and then you switch out an active, which that is very good because we run all sorts of retreat items, and retreating in this deck is not that much of a problem. And then we run one copy of Lily. Draw cards until you have six in your hand, but if you play this your first turn, you draw up to eight. Man, oh man. This was the one game I had only just this card left in my hand, and I drew eight on my first turn. I was freaking out. My opponent was like, the jaw was just dropped, but it was good. <laughs> and then one, one copy of Ace Roll. This thing could save you a game. Like if you have a damaged Turtonator. Oh my gosh, stay focused. If you have a damaged Turtonator, Volcanium, whatever that is important to you, you scoop that thing back up, and your opponent's going to be screaming, Oh my gosh! Why? Just why? And they all hate Acerola. And if you dealt with Acerola, you know what I'm talking about. And then on to items. Alright, I'm going to go through this quickly. Run four copies of Ultra Ball. Four copies of Max Elixir. Look at the top six cards of your deck and attach a basic energy there to one of your bench basic Pokemon. Good in Volcanian decks all the time. Three copies of Floatstone. I would like to have run a fourth one, but threes just seem to work a lot better. So yeah, because you want that free retreat on Octillery, Sushi Master, oh yeah, Starmies, whatever, because everything has three retreat or two retreat. And then run two copies of Switches. Yes, you want that retreat. Switch is just good for anything and field blower a lot of people are now taking this out of their decks and i'm just looking at them like what are you thinking field blowers awesome it saves you games it gets rid of annoying choice fans it gets rid of annoying stadiums and garbador did you not see that buzzwell garbador deck man it was just ugh disgusting yeah run two copies of pal pad to get back the supporters from discard pal because you know took away via seeker <sighs> But yeah, Palpad, new substitute, uh, focus. One, one copy of Professor's Letter, search your deck up to two basic energies it's for the steam up. And then last two items, we run one cop, one rescue stretcher to get back Pokemon, and then enhanced hammer, discard those annoying special energies that we deal with now these days. And then to finish it up, run three scorched earth to discard, get those fire energies in the discard pile. As soon as possible, and yes, it does help fighting decks whenever you run into them. So Lucario is going to be loving this. Lucario GX, man, I want that card, but yeah. Scorched Earth helps you draw through your deck as well as with Sushi Master. And then Heavy Energy Account. I run one Burning Energy just for Turtonator because I, like, you know, discarding two energies is, and then having to wait a turn and then attach again and then attach again. It's annoying. But burning energy makes that poss like possible to where you could just attach it, discard it, and attach it back. And you just lose one energy, and then you could attach it again next turn and just get another knockout. And it's so good. I would like to run two, but I don't. It would slow you down. You could do it if you want. One copy of burning energy, and we run one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve regular fire energies. So yeah, there's 13 fire energies. 
Mm, yeah, that's goodness. And for those who stuck around or just skipped to the end, this is the pre-release code. I'm giving it away to y'all. Y'all deserve it. And yeah, thank you for tuning in. Ugh, just, yeah, it's dead. And this is Pokemon Master Slayer. And thank you for tuning in. And please stay in tune for more. And goodbye.